Now let's consider a dispersive medium. So here is the omega versus k plot. Omega 1, omega 2 will leave in the same place. But now I'll give it a curved dispersion like that. Okay. So now this is dispersive. And we'll take the same path. Let's consider dispersive beats. And all that really means is, again, we're going to write two sinusoids. Y1 and X and T is a um, cosine K1 X minus omega 1 T. And Y2 X and T is a cosine K2X minus omega 2T. And the key here is that if we think about their velocities, then let's see, omega 1, we can draw across and down. And there's K1. That ratio would be the speed. And omega 2, we can draw across. And oh, we don't get it till there and down there. And there's K2. So the velocity 1 is omega 1 over K1. The velocity 2 is omega 2 over K2. And the key is V1 does not equal V2. Their phase velocities are not the same because the medium is non-dispersive because this is not a straight line. You can actually kind of see it. This ratio is pretty much uh, this ratio is about what it was. This is about a point on that line, because there's my old line for k2 and omega2. And here's my old line for k1. If this were that straight line, this would have fallen right there and gone down. But now that I've curved it, the, this k1 shifted over. This ratio is not the same as this ratio. Right? Here, this is actually bigger. We have a higher velocity here than we do here. So they're not going at the same speed, because it's a non-dispersive medium. Now, let's see what happens when we let it beat.